I recently took the time to play through Amnesia The Dark Descent. For those of you who love horror games, it will come as no surprise that Amnesia The Dark Descent is considered one of the scariest games ever made. It is a game packed with tension, terrifying atmospheres, uncomfortable storylines. All of these elements come together to create something that is a truly terrifying experience. And on my most recent playthrough, which was actually my very first playthrough, the one thing that I noticed was how effective the score is in supplementing the tension of the game. What is it about the music of Amnesia that makes us so uncomfortable? I think in order to truly answer that question, we have to dig a little bit deeper into what horror actually is. Or rather, what makes something horrifying? There's this really awesome blog post by Thomas Grip, who for those of you who don't know, Thomas Grip is a co-founder and one of the devs for Frictional Games. In the blog post, Thomas Grip says, horror games are quite a different beast when it comes to the gaming industry at large. Most other genres revolve around what the player does. In a horror game, the activity is not at all as important. What is important is that the experience is a spooky one. And he also says, in horror, less is often more. So when you think about horror in itself, one of the things that comes to my mind when you think of like a horror movie is a ton of jump scares. Now for me, I'm not a fan of jump scares. Most of the time, I actually find them disrupting rather than actually terrifying. I've heard it said in the past that horror does a really good job of building tension, making you uncomfortable. But the second you throw a jump scare in, the tension is broken. The rising action has been resolved. Which tying that into the Amnesia The Dark Descent game, it reveals a lot about why the game is so scary. For those of you who have played it, you know there's like almost little to no jump scares in the game. It's all just this constant state of discomfort. Jump scare result in a very temporary moment of discomfort, whereas true horror doesn't ever allow you to feel comfortable. It is this constant state of tension. And there's another aspect of horror as well that I want to discuss before getting into the music, and that is the concept of keeping it vague. Very often, the most terrifying things about effective horror is not what you see, it's what you don't see. Because the human mind does a really good job of filling in all the blanks with the most terrifying thing you can ever imagine. Have you ever seen a photo that is just vague enough to where you can't really recognize what's going on in the photo, but at the same time, you're getting just enough information to still be able to piece some parts of it together, and it results in you feeling this awful feeling of tension and discomfort. The second you reveal a monster, the monster becomes less scary. That's what makes Amnesia The Dark Descent so fantastic is you barely see the monster. I remember in my most recent playthrough of the game, I barely saw the monster. Like, at all. It was the ambiance and all the stuff in the background that was making me truly uncomfortable throughout my entire playthrough. So taking all of these horror concepts into consideration, the matter of setting this constant trend of feeling uncomfortable, but also keeping it really vague so you can't really make out what's going on, now let's compare that to the music in the game. For those of you who don't know, the music of Amnesia was written by Finnish composer Miko Tarnia. One of the most impressive parts about his writing is the fact that he never actually actually saw any of the gameplay while he was writing the score. It's very clear that Miko knew exactly what he was doing when he was writing this score. So what is it? What is it that makes his music so uncomfortable to listen to? One of the things that I noticed while I was playing the game is the music very often imitates how we as human beings react to terror. Listen to this clip and how does it make you feel? I listen to that clip, I hear the terrified heartbeat in the bottom end. I hear the screams on the top. It's as if I'm literally listening to someone's terror in the form of music. It's very effective when you put it in the context of the game. As all of us will know, when we get terrified, our heart rates go out of control. We tend to feel this rising sense of panic set in. So comparing that to the music that Miko writes for the game, check out this clip.
Did you notice how the music was constantly rising? As if indicating that our terror is just constantly getting more and more and more out of control. And in the same way that Miko writes music that is imitating terror, he also writes music that imitates calm. For those of us that have played the game, I'm sure you all remember the fountain room. I remember the first time that I walked through the doors into that room. You hear this beautiful music start playing, and it's the very first time, at least in my opinion, that you've ever truly felt at peace in the game. And what makes the fountain room even more calm is the fact that you walk into it right after going through this really stressful chase scene. It's like the very first moment of the game where I remember just like... <sighs> I can actually breathe now. But of course, in the typical fashion of amnesia games, that feeling of safety does not last long. Thomas Grip actually made a comment about this very room and he goes on to say, this is the second hub level of the game and it's supposed to give some contrast to the stressful lurker encounter. We think building up contrast like this is extremely important for the horror move. Only by seeing a bright level can you appreciate the dark one and so on. If you do not do this, the player will get used to the stuff and the effect will lessen greatly. As Thomas mentioned about there being this contrast between a calm scene versus a stressful scene, one of the most intense and truly terrifying moments of the game, in my opinion, is actually found in the DLC Justine. And for those of you who have played Justine, I think you know exactly what scene I am talking about. Not only is the scenario incredibly uncomfortable, the fact that you're being chased by a suitor, and at the same time you have to figure out how to open all the doors, you have to try to close that one door to save the one prisoner, and to make matters worse, the music does a fantastic job of making it even more terrifying. It's like Miko decided to put everything that was terrifying about the Amnesia games, everything that I've mentioned previously, and put it all into this one moment to create one of the most uncomfortable moments in the entire franchise. You've got the heartbeat in the bottom, you've got that awful screeching noise as well when the monster is near, and it all comes together to just basically ruin your day. Amnesia the Dark Descent is a masterclass on true horror, and it is only made ever better by the music that was written by Miko Tarmia. If you've never played any Amnesia game, please start with this one. A lot of people say it's the best one, I can definitely see that being the case. It's a fantastic game, and the music does such a good job of making you so uncomfortable. I love analyzing the music of video games and movies. If there are any scores you'd like for me to check out, I would love to do more research. Please put them in the comments. If you are not a fan of horror, I do cover other genres as well. My most recent video is actually covering the Western genre. Check that video out. If you would like to stay up to date with all of my latest uploads, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't gotten anything out of this video, first of all, thank you so much for making it this far. But second of all, please leave with this information. If you ever hear this sound while you're walking alone in the dark, while you're alone in your house, if you're walking alone in the woods or down in your basement, it is in your best interest to run.